Why is Lindsay Lohan only worth $1.5 million? Mean Girls, Freaky Friday, and The Parent Trap were among the films that contributed to Lindsay Lohan's accumulation of a fortune of $30 million by the year 2004. When she had reached that point in her career, she lost it all with her claimed poor behavior in multiple public outbursts, which led to her being labeled one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood in 2005, earning up to $8 million for each film. Even though Lohan had a lot of potential to gain even more money, she ruined it all. The problematic celebrity, who hopes to make a comeback to acting this this year may have believed that the millions of dollars she was making would continue indefinitely, but her net worth has already plunged to $800,000. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss why is Lindsay Lohan only worth $1.5 million, so stay tuned to find out. It would be an understatement to suggest that Lohan made significant money from her acting career. In 2005, the 34-year-old actress had achieved fame worldwide, and one of her career's most financially rewarding roles came as a direct result of the film Mean Girls, which was released in 2004. That year, she was chosen to play the role of Maggie Payton in the film Herbie, Fully Loaded, which also starred Michael Keaton, Matt Dillon, Justin Long, and Cheryl Hines, as a result of the film's box office gross of more than $150 million. Lohan was paid a total of $7.5 million. The New Yorker issued her second studio album a little more personal the following year after its predecessor. It is not certain how much money she made during her brief career as a musician. However, the record was favorably regarded and sold over 500,000 copies in the United States. There's a market for Lohan's music because her album Speak, which was released in 2004, sold 1 million copies in the United States and reached number 4 on the Billboard Hot 200 chart. Since Lohan's film career was thriving then, she could afford to dabble in music whenever she pleased. Lohan was no longer getting the high-paying gigs that she formerly did due to the weeks of reports published about her allegedly terrible behavior on set, missed work meetings, and stumbling out of a club in Los Angeles. Even though she was given a regular role in Ugly Betty the next year, Lohan's career had taken a big hit as a result of all the negative coverage she had received, and her final major salary for a film came when she was cast as Rachel in 2007's Georgia Rule. There's little doubt that the costs associated with her many stints in rehabilitation have been significant. Fans would believe that someone as wealthy as Lilo could afford her several sessions in therapy, but she has been unable to do so for the better part of two decades. Fans would believe someone as rich as Lilo could afford her multiple treatment sessions. While Lohan was receiving treatment, she was responsible for paying the costs associated with her stay and the back taxes she had racked up throughout her career. She owed a total of $233,000 in 2012 and an additional $100,000 by the end of 2017. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Now, let's continue. In 2011, she was charged with failing to pay $100,000 in limousine fees. In 2012, a tanning establishment in Las Vegas sued her for the same amount. To add insult to injury, in 2006, Lohan was responsible for the loss of a Hermes Birkin bag with an estimated worth between $50,000 and $200,000. According to Toronto City News, problems were made even more difficult when her suitcase, which contained jewelry worth $1 million, went missing from London's Heathrow Airport. Lohan has been seeking to develop other projects since she retired from the performing industry. Her focus was captured by a brand new Mykonos Beach Club that had just started operations the previous year. Fans began to speculate that things weren't moving as smoothly as Lohan had anticipated and that she eventually gave up on the project when the entire site was abandoned the next year. This led many to believe that Lohan had given up on the project. The TripAdvisor page for the club gives the impression that it is confirming the beach house does not exist longer. According to Refinery29, many customers have reported that they could not speak with a representative over the phone to schedule appointments. In the meantime, a supporter of Lindsay Lohan's, who intended to go to the Lohan Beach Club in Mykonos, stated, We tried contacting and emailing Lohan's beach house, but they never responded. They committed to open for the summer season between the end of May and the beginning of June. We just happened to drive by and the entire place was empty. To hold a party in Mykonos in such a manner is inappropriate, Lindsay. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comments section how this video was. I hope that you found this one interesting. You know, you can subscribe and watch more videos on our channel to keep up with more content. We will see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.